And then the hard part is these little ledges here. Let's see, what can we do for that? Now notice you've got lines here that aren't going anywhere. So again, you've got uh, T-junctions there. We don't want T-junctions. So you'd have to draw lines across here where they're necessary, but don't use them if they're not necessary. So you really don't need lines across here just where there's curves. So anyway, uh, we still need to fix this, don't we? If we uh, build our ledge this way, let me just try this. If I go to Polygon, and I'm going to try... Um, I think I'm going to have to select all these by hand. So I'll just do that. Just trying to, uh, a way to make a little step and cross the whole thing. So holding down control key. Oh, I should turn on ignore back facing so I don't pick any faces on the back side. And here's my idea. We'll see if it works to uh, just extrude local normal a little bit and then I should be able to say okay and I should be able to build my step with these things and I don't really have a fast way to grab these. Might be able to do it with a fence but by the time I figure that out, I'd probably not all select it. And we'll just extrude that. Make it big enough so you can see it. And that's good. I overdid it, but you can get the idea. And then, um, you know, I kind of blew this part where um, I screwed up the size of this uh, part that should come out. So. Probably need to just try to fix that and then I'll finish this up. So how do I fix that? You know, usually the second time around you figure out a better way to do it, but let me just try something. And then vertex. Let's do a cut. I need this circle to be a real circle and it goes something like that. And I know I've got triangles there, but let's say this was for a game. It wouldn't matter, depending on the game engine. Everything's going to be converted to triangles anyway, so I don't need to worry necessarily about uh, about everything being quads, which I'll try to get into in another tutorial why quads are useful for smoothing. Anyway, what does this thing look like again? The whole thing just comes out, right? Um, let's just do it this way. Select, and we have it on crossing, so we'll just say there. And extrude that. Oops. <laughs> Try it again. And extrude. But there is a problem doing it this way. We're creating a little seam here. So what we really need to do, before we even do this, is we got to get rid of these faces. I'm going to do that real fast and hopefully I'll have time in my 10 minute limit here. All those. I'll delete them. And uh, what we'll do is try it again. Extrude. We'll go right to the edge here. And we're going to weld those in place. And then I'm going to extrude it again. And that'll be our little part that goes out. And we'll say OK to that. And now I can go into uh, weld. Got to get in vertex mode. Target weld. I'll try this. No, it didn't work out. 
Um, why not? Those are empty. It should be possible. But you can't weld when there's a face in the way, and there's a face right here, so we need to get rid of those faces. That's the problem. We got a face inside here. I couldn't really see it very well, but I think I can still pull this off. We're going to find out. Get rid of these faces, which are extra. Delete. Now that there's no faces in between those uh, panels, if we want to call them that. I'm going to target weld and just weld these in place. And target weld. That one doesn't want to go. Try it again. This one's got an issue. Not sure what it is. There may be a face still there. But I'm going to quit. I'm running out of time. But you get the idea. This is kind of the basic same thing here. It just needs to be adjusted a little bit and uh, cleaned up. And you're going to have this. It's going to look almost exactly like that. Just a little bit of uh, getting the top view, moving vertices, getting the front view, moving some vert vertices, and so on. And that's it. At this point, most of this thing's ready to either um, unwrap and texture or rig. Just got to get everything in position.